Many grade five and six students had the chance to showcase their love of science. Cattery School held its annual science fair. Regan Jacob Stock reports. <laughs> I'm going to um, see if I could actually read to the bottom and if I need glasses. All right. O W T. Oh my God, T. <laughs> no. Oh, much better. All right. The la the words have suddenly become very clear. Okay. P K N V T N U H A R X M B J E O. -D CIO. Yay! Oh no, but that means now I need glasses. Tell me, what uh, what is this project about? We just want to see which one dissolves the fastest. And we both chose that Tylenol is more faster than Advil. Faster than Advil? Okay, you're going to demonstrate for me? It's already in there. Okay, so this is Advil, yes. and this is Tylenol. And Tylenol is the uh, dissolved. So Tylenol does dissolve faster? It has a, Advil has a shell, and that, so it takes longer to break out, but Tylenol is just, it's just don't have no shell. So why did you guys decide to choose this type of project? Because so, um, uh, when people have like headaches or something, we want to see which pill will dissolve faster so their, their headaches could go away. Congratulations, it seems like very innovative. Okay guys, so um, tell me, what is your project about? Short-term memory. What has to do with short-term memory? Like, what did you focus on? Um, well, we focused on the uh, auditory and, um, and um, uh, the auditory and visual memory tests. Well, to uh, test for visual, we would give the, we would give somebody, whoever is taking the test, a car, they would look at it for 30 seconds and try to memorize it. Then they would um, recite the alphabet, recite the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, O, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now, you have to tell me what the numbers were. Okay. Six, two, eight, two, one, four, seven. He got six on seven. Well, that's not bad. That's more than I got. I didn't even remember half of them. Okay, what's your name? Raiden Phillips. So explain to us what your project is this year. Uh, it's a shake and go flashlight with copper wire, a magnet, and when you shake it, you see the LED light up like that. What are you demonstrating to us? Uh, so when the magnet it gives out magnetic forces and it, the wire catches it and it forms electricity inside the, the wire and then it equals power to light the light bulb. So. How did you come up with this project? Uh, I looked it up on the internet and uh, it looked pretty cool so I wanted to try it. So what do you think? Think you're going to be in the run-in this year? I don't know. There's other good projects too, so I have to see. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. And thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> this project is to demonstrate that speed is the fastest thing on earth that you can find. When I say the three, two, one, I want them to count how fast they see the lights get to the bottom of all the mirrors that they could see. Three, two, one. Okay. Now what do I do? Now, uh, what would you t say? How fast was that? Was was uh, how fast? I'd say about a second. So, how long did it actually take? Um, it takes zero point zero 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 five seconds for light to travel one whole mile. That's really fast. Faster than you can blink. 
thank you very much and good luck. Okay, you're welcome. Goodbye. Okay, so we're here at Windworks, and uh, what is your name? Colton Hash. Okay, tell me a little bit about your project. What is it? It's about a wind generator. It, it really works when you light up. Watch. Hold it. Oh, you want me to hold it? Okay. Let's get it work. See? Very cool. And um, what are you demonstrating here? I'm demonstrating uh, my project. Um, it's it's about all different wind generators. Well, thank you very much, and good luck. Okay, so we're here with Solar Cars, and uh, tell me what your names are. Kale, Kane, Joel Morris. Okay, so tell me um, a little bit about your project. Uh, we're doing a project on the solar car. Um, yeah. So what is it that you're trying to demonstrate? Uh, how a solar car works and uh, the sun's heat is going into the solar panel and uh, and uh, the wires connect to the, under the solar car. Well, good luck you guys and thank you. Okay, so we're here now at Tattooing a Plant with, what is your name? Ainsley. Okay, and are you the owner of this project? Yeah. You did it by yourself? Yeah. Okay, so explain to me what it is. Well, what I did was I took a regular house plan and I took a piece of it. I put it in fresh dirt. I took a I cut out shapes with aluminum foil. I stuck it on with a paper clip and I let it sit in the sun for about a week. When on the seventh day, I took it off and there was that tattoo. That is very cool and it looks like a heart. Well, good luck and a very innovative project. Thank you. Well, a lot of the students here at Cattery School, as you've uh, probably seen by now, have done a tremendous and uh, great job uh, this year at the Science Fair. And uh, this year, the winners are... So congratulations to all and uh, we'd like to extend uh, a thank you to the staff and of course the students here at Cattery School for doing such a great job and inviting us to come along to see all their uh, uh, a job well done basically. So for News Channel 4 is the Wana Ordiwage, I'm Regan Jacob-Stock.